Hi everyone, um, so I'm going to attempt to do a quick update. Um, Lex is sleeping in my arms right now, and I don't know how much longer he's going to be asleep, but um, I've been meaning to get an update done for a while, and um, I just yesterday got um, a new phone. I now have an iPhone, so I'm able to, to record things um, you know, a little bit easier. My previous phone did not have a forward-facing camera, so um, yeah, anyway. So this is going to be pretty quick. Um, so Lex is 10 weeks old now. Um, he was 10 weeks on Tuesday. Um, and he's doing great. He's, um, I don't remember like where we were at when I made my last video. I imagine we were still kind of struggling to have him gain weight and stuff. Um, that's much better. He, um, he's now over 10 pounds. Um, so he's still in the, in a low percentile for weight, but, um, but he's definitely gaining. Um, he had his two-month appointment on Monday, and um, he's now 24 inches long, so he's grown three inches, um, and he's doing great. Um, the concerns that we have and the issues that we have um, right now are a probable silent reflex and um, just him having some digestive issues and stuff like that. So, um, because of that, I am going to be cutting out dairy, gluten, most soy, um, and then, like, the gassy vegetables, like garlic and onion and broccoli and cabbage and, um, cauliflower and Brussels sprouts and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's <laughs> not, not the most fun for me, but, um, you know, it's okay. We'll, we'll give it a go. We'll see if it helps him, if it helps him, you know, I'm fine keeping that stuff out of my diet. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, so, so far this week I have cut out dairy and like all the vegetables and stuff. And the next week I will also cut out gluten. Um, it was just too much to do it all at once. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, hopefully that will help him. And, um, and he will be feeling a little bit better. He, he has, like, screaming sessions and has some difficulty nursing, like, just ends up getting really upset and stuff like that, um, which is stressful for both of us, I think. Uh, I, I left Lex for the first time on Tuesday to go to a chiropractor appointment. So Eric was working from home. And I decided, you know what, it doesn't really make sense for me to lug him with me because there's no reason for him to come with me and it ends up, you know, it's somewhat stressful trying to make sure that he's happy in the car and stuff like that if he doesn't fall asleep. So I ended up leaving him for about an hour to go to my appointment and um, the first half of the time I was gone was fine apparently. He slept for a lot of it. He was asleep when I left. He slept for a bunch of it. Um, and then I called when I was leaving to come back from the appointment, and he was still doing fine. Um, and apparently, like, immediately after getting off the phone with me, um, Eric said that Lex started screaming and basically spent the next, you know, 20, 20 to 30 minutes until I got home screaming. Um, so that was, that was stressful for Eric. He got, but he got a little bit of a taste of what my kind of day-to-day -day life is like because I deal with that kind of thing every day. Um, you know, it's not all day every day, but it's definitely something that is pretty consistently, um, you know, a part of my everyday life with him. So, so I was kind of glad that he got to see it, but he it ended up stressing him out a lot, um, and he just didn't really quite know how to handle it, um, and ended up, you know, being a lot more angry than he expected or wanted to be, um, and didn't quite know what to do. So, um, you know, <clears throat> we'll work on that, and, you know, it was, from, from my perspective, until I got home and found out that he'd been screaming, it was strange and kind of, I was kind of anxious, but it was really nice to be out by myself and not have to worry about you know, whether Lex was happy or not, I was able to stop off and run an errand on the way home, and, like, it was just, it was just easy. So I think, 
I will continue to go out and do, you know, spend little bits of time here and there by myself. Um, but yeah, hopefully Eric will get used to uh, being alone with Lex. Um, Lex also went to his very first uh, music festival. We went to a folk festival this past weekend. Um, just We just went to one day of it. It's a two-day festival, but we just went on Saturday. Um, and it was okay. Um, it was pretty stressful for me. My parents were there, so they were kind of helping. Um, but it was just not quite what I had been hoping it would be. It was also incredibly hot, so that affected things a lot. Um, and then Lex also went on his first overnight um, with us, but, you know, his first time being away from home since we came home from the hospital. Um, we went to um, the coast for uh, one night for my birthday, um, which was last week, and that was a lot of fun. He did incredibly well. Um, he really liked the hotel apparently like he just woke up really really happy and um yeah it was it was fun uh as far as how i'm doing <laughs> i feel like most days i'm okay there are definitely days when i'm more stressed out more emotional um and just struggling a little bit a little bit more um so yeah I would really like to get to the point where I'm able to get out and get some exercise on a regular basis, but so far it's not, that's a little too much for me to take on. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm 10 weeks postpartum, it'll, it'll come in time. So anyway, um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much the update. I will show Lex. He's, um, he's doing really well overall. Um, so, yeah. So I will hopefully be back to do more updates and videos and stuff, um, more consistently. Now that it's a little bit easier for me to just record a video wherever I am. Um, I imagine there may be some car videos where I, like, where Lex is asleep. And he tends to not stay asleep if we bring him inside in his car seat. So, um there may be some videos where I'm like in the parking lot and stuff like that um, and I also want to do an update video on how cloth diapering is going so um, hopefully I'll get around to that soon um, I hope you're all doing well and I'll talk to you soon